Why are numerous technology companies globally competing in the humanoid robot sector when humanity has thrived for decades without them? Humans possess the intelligence and dexterity to accomplish tasks effectively. The evidence lies in the remarkable technological advancements and groundbreaking inventions that have all been conceived by human minds. No machine can truly replicate this capability, leading to the question are humanoid robots unnecessary innovations? Why pursue the creation of human-like machines that cannot match human intelligence and skill? Many view these robots as mere toys, and this perspective was common when AI was still in its infancy and somewhat abstract. However, the rapid evolution of AI over the past few years has been astonishing, transforming our world significantly. This raises the question, what if we integrate this advanced intelligence into a robotic form? This is precisely the direction in which Elon Musk, Tesla and several other tech firms are heading. The leading electric vehicle manufacturer is now pivoting towards the development of humanoid robots. Regardless of personal opinions about Elon Musk, one cannot overlook his intellect. He is the wealthiest individual on the planet for a reason and is certainly not foolish enough to invest in a pointless robot. The Tesla bot, known as Optimus, stands apart from other humanoid robots, particularly with its Gen 3 iteration, which represents a significant advancement. So how does Elon Musk intend to revolutionize the world with the Tesla bot? What capabilities will this robot possess? Let's explore this further as we look ahead to 2026 where it promises to perform a diverse array of tasks from the outset. Elon Musk emphasized that Tesla's intention behind developing Optimus was to prevent scenarios reminiscent of the Terminator or I, robot, ensuring that the robot would never pose a threat to humans. He firmly committed to this principle. Instead, Musk stated that the Tesla bot was designed to handle everyday tasks that people often find undesirable, such as monotonous, repetitive, or hazardous activities. The long-term vision for Tesla is for this robot to assist humans with physical tasks, thereby alleviating the workload and enhancing productivity across various sectors, from manufacturing to services. To effectively assist humans, Optimus must fulfill three essential criteria. It needs to be intelligent, dexterous, and affordable, meaning it should be significantly less expensive than Tesla's electric vehicles. Fortunately, Optimus is capable of meeting all three requirements, which Musk identified as a significant advantage for the company. Additionally, Tesla excels in manufacturing design. Musk noted that for Optimus to be recognized as a true humanoid robot, rather than just a collection of metal parts, it needed to be as human-like as possible. However, it was not intended to possess full human sensory capabilities, like Sophia the robot. There were concerns about how children might react if they encountered such a robot at home, which influenced Tesla's design choices. To achieve a human-like appearance, Tesla concentrated on specifications such as size and body proportions, equipping the robot with various behaviors and reflexes that mimic human actions. In terms of dimensions, Optimus stands approximately 5 feet 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, which aligns closely with the average height of an adult male in the United States. You might assume, it must be incredibly heavy at that height. However, the reality is that it weighs only around 130 pounds, 59 kilograms. Tesla has made significant efforts to minimize the weight, which allows the robot to move more swiftly and reduces energy consumption, enabling it to operate longer on a single charge. The entire robot is encased in a high-performance polymer shell, essentially a durable plastic that is both heat and wear resistant. Its color scheme is straightforward, featuring black and white, with a light strip around its head that indicates its status, white when operational and orange-red when it requires recharging. In truth, there isn't much to elaborate on regarding Optimus's design, and that simplicity is intentional. Tesla aimed for a straightforward design primarily to facilitate manufacturing. Other companies have attempted to create elaborate humanoid robots, but when it came to mass production, they faced significant challenges. Production costs soared, the robots underperformed, and many projects were abandoned. This is why many people perceive humanoid robots as mere advanced prototypes confined to laboratories. With limited real-world application, Tesla possesses the resources to change that. 
and it is essential to have an efficient inference computer, which they already utilize in their vehicles, and will also implement in Optimus. While Tesla is widely recognized as a leader in electric vehicles, their experience in robotics is limited, as they have not previously manufactured robots. Nonetheless, they do have substantial expertise in AI from their automotive technology, and some of that knowledge can be applied to robotics. However, it's important to acknowledge that simply having ambition is not sufficient for Tesla to create not just any humanoid robot, but the most sophisticated and promising one available. They will need to adopt a completely different strategy compared to their competitors. Elon Musk is widely recognized as a bold visionary, often perceived as eccentric, with aspirations that extend far beyond conventional thinking, yet, his track record has consistently amazed the world, he has made electric vehicles desirable, developed reusable rockets, implanted chips in the brains of individuals with disabilities to restore functionality, and even introduced Grok to rival ChatGPT. Now, with Optimus, Musk asserts that all 8 billion people on the planet will desire one. Tesla aims to eventually price it at just $20,000, believing that everyone will want their own Optimus but, for now, let's set aside the pricing discussion, as the Tesla bot has not yet officially launched. It may end up costing more than anticipated, but we are confident it will still be significantly more affordable than most humanoid robots currently available. Since it is not yet on the market, the key focus should be on how it differentiates itself. The critical question is how a company known for electric vehicles approaches the development of a humanoid robot. In our view, this question is far more significant. Elon Musk is once again taking a path that diverges from his competitors, while other companies prioritize making their robots smarter, faster, or capable of performing acrobatic. Tesla is concentrating on what Musk identifies as the most crucial aspect, Optimus's hands. The essence of human intelligence is reflected in how we use our hands to manipulate the world around us. Currently, it is not the brain, but rather the hands of the Tesla that stand out, exemplifying the pinnacle of Tesla's engineering. In fact, the hands may be the most valuable feature of the Tesla bot, creating a substantial advantage over its competitors. We are not suggesting that the Optimus is merely equipped with an elaborate set of hands, rather than an intelligent brain. It possesses both. For the first first time, a robotic hand has achieved 22 degrees of freedom, just five short of a human hand. If Tesla's artificial intelligence reaches human-level capabilities in the future and integrates with this sophisticated hand design, it could potentially accomplish 80 out of 100 tasks that humans can perform. This is a significant advancement. It's no surprise that Elon Musk shared on X that this hand could thread a needle, play the piano, and execute tasks far beyond our previous expectations expectations for robots. Creating a humanoid robot, capable of performing human-like tasks, sets a very high standard. Our new arm features 22 degrees of freedom, compared to the previous 11. The hand may represent nearly half of the engineering effort behind Optimus, from an electromechanical perspective. This means it could easily pick up a cup or fold a shirt, and these capabilities should generalize quickly. The next generation will indeed be able to play the piano, which is quite impressive. When discussing the Tesla bot, Elon Musk acknowledged that the hand accounted for almost half of the engineering work done by the Tesla team, revealing its complexity was greater than initially anticipated. To enable natural movement, the hand required numerous actuators, but the challenge lay in balancing this complexity. If too many actuators were added, the hand would become oversized and bulky, compromising flexibility and strength. Consequently, the Tesla team opted to position these actuators in the forearm. Instead, initial attempts to place them in the hand resulted in oversized, awkward-looking hands. Have you ever considered why human fingers vary in length? The differences in finger lengths are not merely coincidental, they play a crucial role in our dexterity. If all fingers were uniform in length, our ability to manipulate objects would be significantly hindered. The variation allows for precise control, which is essential for tasks that demand high accuracy. Musk stated, you can imagine your own personal robot buddy that is a great friend, but also takes care of your house. It will clean, mow the lawn, walk the dog, teach your kids babysit.
and even facilitate the production of goods and services. While this may sound futuristic, we're discussing one of the most advanced robots globally, and Elon has referred to it as a genuine brain. This suggests that Optimus could be intelligent enough to recognize when its hands are dirty, understanding its actions, and reasoning that it shouldn't touch anything until its hands are clean. You might wonder if washing its hands could cause it to short circuit or malfunction. That's a valid concern, but the answer is no. When people think of Tesla, they often associate it with groundbreaking innovations and remarkable water resistance. A prime example is the Cybertruck, which can seamlessly transition into a boat, gliding across water as if nothing has happened. Given this technological prowess, developing a waterproof robotic hand is relatively straightforward for Tesla. However, the real challenge lies in ensuring that Optimus's hand not only withstands water, but can also sense it. Unlike typical electronics, Optimus is designed with real-world messes in mind. After all, would anyone genuinely invest in a robot for household assistance if it couldn't manage a bit of water? The earlier version of Optimus's hand, with 11 degrees of freedom, resembled exposed machinery, which raised some doubts. In contrast, the latest iteration boasts 22 degrees of freedom, enhanced protection, and a more refined design. You can even see Optimus's new hand in a video from last year, where it catches a tennis ball, so washing its hands is just the beginning of its capabilities, creating a humanoid robot capable of performing a wide range of human tasks is an incredibly ambitious objective, one that few are brave enough to commit to. Optimus's arm has made significant progress, increasing from 11 to 22 degrees of freedom, thanks to strategically placed actuators in the forearm, a major advancement recognized by leading engineers worldwide. Each actuator and sensor has been meticulously crafted from the ground up, grounded in fundamental physics principles, while also emulating the biological design of the human hand. Whether utilized on a factory floor, in a warehouse, within the service sector, or in everyday life, the primary objective of Optimus is to streamline processes and liberate humans from monotonous time-consuming tasks. The true value of Optimus lies in its capacity to perform a diverse array of functions throughout a 10-hour workday, complemented by rapid charging capabilities. To provide context, the average American worker earns approximately $35,000 annually, excluding training, benefits, or paid time off. In contrast, an Optimus robot, priced around $20,000, can accomplish the work of two to three employees, requires no breaks, and can save businesses at least $15,000 in its first year alone. In retail, Optimus can manage tasks such as stocking shelves, cleaning, or assisting at checkout. In the hospitality sector, it can serve as a waiter in restaurants or hotels. With its relentless work ethic, Optimus can deliver exceptional service continuously, resulting in significant annual labor cost savings for businesses. Many individuals are likely preparing to pre-order the Optimus robot when Tesla officially launches sales, which may occur as early as the second quarter of next year. On another note, it was not surprising when Elon Musk announced announced that Tesla employees would be the first to access Optimus. This aligns with Tesla's traditional strategy, similar to their approach with electric vehicles. We are not claiming that the Tesla bot is the ultimate humanoid robot available. Each robot has its unique advantages, and its effectiveness largely depends on the specific tasks you require it for. However, when it comes to a robot designed to assist with daily household chores and capable of mass production, the Tesla bot stands out as a leading option. With its intelligent design, ability to learn and adapt, and the support of one of the foremost technology companies, Tesla is setting the stage for a future where humanoid robots are integrated into our everyday lives, rather than confined to laboratories. While this technology may lead to the displacement of certain jobs, it is also expected to generate new employment opportunities. What are your thoughts on Tesla and the Optimus robot? Do you think it will be as beneficial in real-world applications as Elon Musk suggests? Are you supportive of the idea of humanoid robots? Please share your opinions in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode.